We're out in the greenhouse today on what is a really wonderful day to test some concepts and theories of this space. Outside it is about 20 degrees Fahrenheit, but unique, <laughs> rare for the Finger Lakes of New York, it is actually sunny. It's been sunny all day. Uh, this is a pretty infrequent scenario. So lots of potential solar gain and good challenging cold air and it's relatively still outside. So I'm trialing a few things in this space, taking some suggestions that folks made around, you know, hey, rather than like uh, being so focused on making sure every last air gap is completely sealed, the whole space is sealed up, focus on your actual growing space and how to insulate and keep uh, temperatures up there. Very, very rough idea. I put these, I had extra double pane insulated windows, which I'm trialing to see because the, the soil in here froze overnight. It went down to the low 20s in the space and it's thawing out on the surface. What I'd like to do just empirically is see by the end of the day, the soil that's under the glass, how much more it's thawed out. I might do a temperature probe under there and just to see if it's worth my while to build out some simple wooden uh, frames to hold these at a steeper angle to face the winter sun and whether or not we could have these movable elements in here. These windows might end up being too bulky, but I'm just noticing, this is what prompted me wanting to make start making this video, one of the issues that I'm seeing is that we had snow and with this roof there's still snow on there. It's hard for me to reach from the outside with a broom and sweep all that off. At some point I'll make a custom tool that will let me sweep this off. It's just like with solar panels, you really want to keep them clean and open to get the most solar gain. Um, but this area over here is holding on with snow. And one thing I thought of, let's see if I can do this in the video without getting you seasick, is if these were at the right angle, let me go back up, to take the sun and reflect it at the peak area where the snow is having a hard time melting, can I get the the balance between an angle where it gets the most sun into these little mini cold frames and also thaws out the snow that's attached to the ceiling? Should be an interesting experiment. You can see the same down here. If I had a wooden frame that held this up, that would benefit the seedlings that are in there, but then also maybe reflect the light to a productive space. So we'll see. The other work I'm trying to focus on right now is to look at where there are some air gaps. There's certainly more work to be done up here reinforcing the polycarbonate, the Tuftex. Uh, but for now, just taking this loose wool and packing it in wherever there are gaps, I'd like to see if we can melt the snow off the roof by closing up the gaps enough to let the heat accumulate in here enough to get the roof warm enough to, <laughs> to melt the snow. You can see it's dripping like crazy out there. Good old man Henry is enjoying the drippings. Um, and the other thing I should mention here, that little sensor push device, which is right at the soil line where this parsley is, um, it is reading as of this moment 57 Fahrenheit, so that's in the sun, uh, right there at soil line with the temperature outside at 20. So it is, um, what is that? It's almost 40 degrees warmer, right Henry? He can't hear me. He can't hear me because he's outside and he can't hear any longer. He's a very old gentleman, but he still enjoys snow. So big temperature differential. The Real reminder now is it's time to really focus on what's going to happen with these tubes. Getting on a day like this where the air temperature in here is pushing 60 degrees, uh, can I be taking the sun that's driving that temperature and uh, take that air and send it down through these tubes and bank 60 Fahrenheit in the depths of this 3,400 pound block of soil? So lots of little experiments to be doing, just chipping away at it. It's nice doing this in mid-January. We're a month away from when I'm thinking about starting seeds, but with an anticipated low of three Fahrenheit tonight, what I'd like to do is see how much warmth can we bank in the soil 
and how much above 3 Fahrenheit will it be in the morning. I'll uh, continue the video with that. Uh, it'll inform me if I'm going to be starting, for example, onion seeds in early February, uh, what I need to do to keep them above 25 or 30 degrees Fahrenheit when it's supposed to get really brutally cold. In our area, we can expect brutal cold snaps all the way through February and March. So how do we buffer from that? How do we uh, charge these batteries and keep them topped off and protected and insulated? So the rest of today is about getting the little gaps filled in, accumulating as much warmth in the air as possible, and maybe chipping away at getting a fan experiment and driving some air through these tubes. It's the next morning and we uh, wanted to share that last night had uh, 8 Fahrenheit outside, not with heavy winds, um, but pretty crispy cold. It's actually just an incredibly beautiful morning. Everything's covered in fine ice. Um, inside here, the little data logger read a low of 24. And I didn't have the glass over it. <clears throat> the next test will be in the next few days once I get a little bit more heat into these beds. Um, so today will be sunny. Maybe I'll, what I'll do is put this sensor take one of these glass panels and mock up what I would do for a cold frame out here and put the sensor in there with a little sheet of paper, white paper or something to keep direct sunlight off of it so it's not registering the sun heating it but rather the air temperature around the soil. But 8 degrees to 24 is a nice difference just being exposed to the ambient air in here. I'm hitting some roadblocks. I just ordered some parts for um, 120 millimeter controllable USB fan and a solar charger that I hope will move this along. But I would also offer up or <laughs> offer up a question again. Any folks out there feel really strong with wiring uh, solar direct to fans and want to plug in and support me on figuring this out? It's out of my realm for the most part. So any support there and folks that are really strong with those skills that want to plug in. Maybe there's a collaboration video to do with that. Uh, but anyway, that's the minor update here as we get deeper and deeper into the cold of winter. Way more insulation and uh, detail work to do, but the basic design seems to be working. And our friend Stanley, pss, 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 hey buddy, is having a nice time out here too. It should be buttoned up enough that he can be out here without escaping. He's proving as generously proportioned as he is as a being, he's proving to be a pretty decent escape artist. Anyway, <laughs> thanks for watching and look forward to getting some info from folks on what are the ways to really wire these up. Great tutorials or information, always welcome and thanks for any concerns or input you have.